tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. We're talking about the Magical Living workbook, which I personally have gone through. And another thing is the Art and Science of Real Magic book. And I'm really choosing the word magic, um, or more specifically, real magic, to differentiate it from other kinds of magic. Um, I chose it because it was my intuitive feeling. Again, it's, it was not a marketing uh, strategy, or any, strategy or anything. It's when I had my experiences of overcoming incredible challenges and creating what appeared to be a miracle on more and more regular basis, it seemed like magic to me. And, and I knew, I understood the science behind it. I understood the, the mechanics behind it. So that's why I call it real magic because it's not, it's not black magic, it's not even white magic, I would say, even though it's connected in some ways and it's not occult ma magic. So sometimes I have to explain what magic is and, uh, and I understand because people are confused like what you mean by magic. So to me, real magic is about using our ability and I like to call us uh, magicians. And we have this magic wand, which is our subconscious mind, which is incredibly powerful. And of course, uh, just using uh, our subconscious mind means a lot more than just thinking about something, right? Uh, it's a very superficial understanding of, you know, if you think about something, it's going to show up in your life. It's more complex than that. Although it's sometimes, for me, it's, it's been a struggle for many years to learn and I started almost 20 years ago to learn all of these things and I got into love attraction which is wonderful and uh, my my understanding of it was not complete and I, uh, I unfortunately fell into that hole of uh, being really disappointed because uh, as I was using it and following all the uh, instructions in the books uh, I was expecting to create an incredible life for, for myself and unfortunately the exact opposite ha happened so I was very confused which over time led me to go even deeper and study everything that I, I studied to really understand what is law of attraction and why it didn't work and why it does work and so forth so yeah. when I finally was able to apply everything I've learned, I started having these magical experiences and I will fall into this state of being and everything in it, it's like I would, I would be in an altered state of consciousness in a different reality, in a different dimension, if you like, like everything was just happening so incredibly yeah. beautifully. So to me, that's, that's real magic. Dr. Viuni, can you please talk more about it, about empowerment and, you know, making decisions coming from that place of strength? Yes, uh, as you mentioned, that's the hardest thing to do because a lot of people get inspired, read, read a book or go to a workshop or, or um, you know, they hear something or, or see something and they get really inspired and they start doing the work and they do it for a few days or maybe a few weeks and maybe they get some results or, or no results and they give up because it is difficult to maintain this new yes. patterns as you said and the reason why we go back to our old patterns is because <clears throat> they're already wired in our brain and these are literally circuits in our brain of uh, neurons that because we've been using them in the same way for many many years they are you know they say the the neurons that wire, uh, fire together wire together and because they've been firing in the same sequence for over and over and over they are literally wired so to change that it's a process so that's one of the, the reasons i love neuroscience because it physically ch ch shows us how this is happening the most important reasons i i do the work that i do because I, on, on my journey, I was trying to do it on my own and I did for a long time because I didn't have 
find anybody who I could trust and I could relate to. And I, when I found actually somebody, uh, a support, uh, somebody who listened to me and talked to me in a way that was helpful, it completely transformed my my journey became much easier and I was able to yes. take these huge leaps very quickly. And that's why and I realized the, the, the importance of having the right kind of support. And it can be a professional support, like a life coach or, or a therapist or, you know, whatever, or it could be friend or could community or all of the above. But that's one of the first the things that I suggest people, I actually highly, highly um, encourage people to find that support because that allows us to stay consistent with our new yes. choices and not fall back to our um, default patterns of the past, which, as I said, it's we already wired that way and it's very easy to, to fall back to the default, especially when things go you know, wrong or you know, yes. tired yes. and things like that. Important is the physical action component because we know there's a mental action taking place. What's the physical action component? What's the weight of it in terms of manifestation? Can you please explain more about it? Yes, uh, I do believe that taking physical actions uh, is very helpful. I can't say it's uh, it's absolutely necessary I mean, I, maybe there are in some cases situations where pretty much money lands in your lap <laughs> you know like it, it's even then you still have to do something with it right even if you win a lottery which supposedly is the easiest way to get a lot of money you still have to buy the ticket you have to cash it you have to do a lot of things so physical action in this dimension is is necessary it's we cannot go beyond that so even though we are working on um, a level of energy and consciousness, still we are living in the physical body. And that's why this, we call it universal intelligence, the divine spirit, God, whatever we want to call it, that to create physical results, which we really want, right? We don't want just yes. the results in our consciousness, we want the physical results. We need to function through a physical body. Yes. Like it needs hands and feet. It needs, it needs the body to create the physical result because we are operating on a physical level. So the difference is when people are trying to create something only through actions, and meaning their their actions are not coming from a deeper place. They are coming from their, you know, intellect, their logical mind, yes. and that that works and but uh, usually it takes longer time we are like matter creating matter right so it's it's limited it takes longer time it is usually more difficult and there's a lot of things that get in the way of matter and you like imagine you're trying yeah. to get through, get through uh, a lot of things to to be able to you know, get to what you want so working on the energetic level and consciousness level and supporting that with physical actions that are in alignment with that vision that makes it super powerful and that's why i believe um taking actions is really important and they need to be the right actions they need to be inspired actions they're not necessarily yes. it's not a lot of hard work right yes we think like we have to, i want to invite you to become more conscious of what's going on within you and uh, connect that place within you that wants to ex be expressed more fully and uh, as we as i mentioned just creating that vision creating uh, a space in which you can evolve uh, surrounding yourself with supporting people whether they're friends community or, or a coach and investing in yourself because that's really what the only thing that matters because you want to be there for yourself in a gentle, kind, and yet very firm way and continuously growing and expanding into the, your fullest potential. That's really my highest um, um, desire for you. And uh, there are many tools available. And if you want to check my website and my work, it's uh, 
my website is my name, which is dianavehoni.com. And as uh, Reverend Reg mentioned, I have a couple of books that you can download. So there's a lot of uh, good information. I also offer free meditations and prayer circles on Sundays. Um, and um, you are welcome to join and just experience my work. And I do have a lot of other content on YouTube and I'm on social media, but the best place to find all of that would be my, on my website. So I want to wish you a most beautiful evolution because the world needs dreamers that actually uh, take take uh, actions and do what um, what they're, they're here to do and there are a lot of people it just sometimes we need a little bit of inspiration and a little bit of encouragement and support to become all we can be and I, that's my sincere wish for you and i'm here to support you in any way i can and thank you reverend reg for inviting me and i'm so happy to see everything that um, you accomplished in, in the period of time that we talked and we worked together and I knew from the beginning that you're going to be a huge success. And I see that that's happening now. And I'm, I'm, I'm so super happy and grateful because I could, I could see how committed you were, you know, taking notes every time and just practicing and practicing. And, and that's really an example of how success is made, right? And, uh, and it's made on the, founded on the, on the spiritual um, foundation of who you are as, as a human being, which is which is very special. And thank you so much again. I'm really, really grateful for you and all you do. Yes, uh, likewise, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Viumi. I'm very sure that um, you have many clients and students, including me, who are continuously excited every day about all the magic and miracles that can actually unfold uh, in a bigger. So that's all for now, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I just want to sum up everything that, you know, in the manifesting process, in the vast evolving field of metaphysics, there are still actions that we need to take. And it's so much better if you have the framework that can actually help you understand the process and help you get out of the inertia of going back to your patterns and taking that inspired action so take advantage of downloading her books to her website www.dianabuni.com and before we end the show i just want to invite everyone for the unity prayer of protection so simply close your eyes and let's just affirm this together the light of god surrounds us the love of god enfolds us the power of god protects us the presence of god watches over us Wherever we are, God is and all is well. Satnam, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in here in Practical Magic and V81 Radio, South Manila. I'll see you again next week. And thanks again, Dr. Diana Bini and the rest of the staff. Thank you. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila.